Aquaculture is the aquatic counterpart of agriculture. So it's what we do in the ocean, at sea, or in the water, what uh, agriculture does in land. Well, research is the basis of it all. So we start with the basic research, which is what we do best, but then the next phase would be technology development. So we did quite well with Cobia. We developed the technology, and today I think we're recognized as one of the foremost uh, technologies in the world for Cobia. And now we're trying to apply that technology to new uh, species, such as tuna. Tuna has become the holy grail uh, of aquaculture and fishers in the world, because wild tuna populations are on the brink of extinction. They're collapsing the world over. So we believe that if we develop hatchery technology to produce tuna juveniles in captivity, to stock cages and grow them out, as well as environmentally or ecologically efficient feeds to feed tuna, which are the two main goals of our program, to close the cycle in the hatchery and to develop sustainable feeds, tuna can become uh, a commercially cultured species that would fill in that gap that exists in the market because human population continues to grow and the appetite for seafood continues to grow exponentially as well. Therefore, the only way to pick up that slack would be through culturing these organisms. And so it's going to be tuna and other species as well. Everything we do has to be ecologically efficient and environmentally sustainable, as well as economically viable. Because in the end of the day, in the world that we live, if it is not economically viable, it's not going to last for long periods of time. So it has to go hand in hand, economical viability and environmental sustainability. And that is what we do.